Okay, here's our dirt. Now when you do this by the yard, you're supposed to have a special mix of manures and feeds and compost, peat moss. We couldn't find 100% of what we wanted. You're supposed to mix this in even amounts. This word here, we hate this word. We don't, we have no idea what this is. Vermiculite, verma something something, we don't know. And people really make fun of you when you call up and ask them if they have it if you can't pronounce it. So what we have is we have these small bags of peat moss, which is peat moss and dirt. And then we have this one big bag of peat moss. And we have these vermiculite, whatever, to hold the moisture. Now the vermiculite, these bags are four cubic feet. You have to get them at a feed store. And they're 20, about $22 a bag. And these little bags here, we got on sale, they were four bags for $11. And that goes for the topsoil um, and the cow manure and the compost peat humus. So we're fixing to mix up a batch of this here, see if we can cause destruction. This is our square foot garden. You can see we built the forms last weekend. We didn't really get any of that on video. But what we have here is we have two sections, 14 by three. That's these outer ones. And right in the middle, we put a board to to help secure the wall so they're divided into seven feet and then this little section here is ten by eight and then here's the other fourteen by three so we've got a lot of feet in here that we can work with and we're gonna make a little patio in the middle and because we're rednecks this is all over our septic system, but we're not going to tell anybody about that. What you doing there, wife? Sorting out the tomatoes? We stole these plants for 50 cents each. Actually, not even 50 cents each. The guy told us to take them at the local feed store, and I felt guilty taking them. So we gave them $5, and we took two big old trays like this full of tomatoes and cucumbers, watermelon. We actually got some okra on by accident. Nobody would ever get that stuff on purpose, I don't think. But what I really was going to show you is over here, you can see what I was talking about to keep the dirt out, dirt from falling out of our box where our boxes are too tall. I just took that, that uh, yard edging and put a couple of screws in it just to hold it, just to hold the dirt in place there. And we're fixing to find out if that's going to work or not. I think it'll work okay. We're gonna mix up some dirt here in a little bit. Hi, baby. Hello, my love. Mm -hmm. I'm really interested to get that patio squared out where it's nice and level too and see what that looks like because I think that's gonna be really nice looking when it's all done. Okay, you can see now we've got one side of our 
garden, all soil all mixed. Now what happened in this grand experiment, when I got done, I hadn't used a full bag of the vermiculite, and that's probably just because somebody wanted me to say vermiculite five or six more times. I hate that word. So what I had to, what I did was, after I got my soil mixed, I had three mixes in each box, and I had some vermiculite left over. So I put all the extra from the bag on the garden. And I hadn't used half of my peat moss bag, so I put some more peat moss on there. And then I gave that all a good stir. And now we're, we're fixing to do this little section here in just a minute, and I'm gonna have, when I do this, I'm gonna have a little extra. I'm gonna have to kind of wing it. So I'll use a little bit more peat moss and just try to leave half or a little bit less than half for the other side. And then I've got a full bag of vermiculite for this side, and I still got half a bag for here. So I'm gonna put that pretty heavy in this section too. And it should work out pretty good, but you can see that is some nice dirt. And a little bit here, the wife is gonna take some string. We got some string so we can mark it off in sections. And then you'll really be able to see how much you can plant in one of these small sections. So I can't wait for that. Okay, here we have our square foot garden. And this time we've got our plants in it. We got Mr. Jalapeno right there. And there's a lot of seeds in here too. I'm not exactly sure what all we have for seeds. We've got several different watermelons. And then we've got a, all these back here, I believe, are tomatoes on the back there. And then we have some more stuff. I don't even know what all's in here. Uh, I know there's some beans on one side. We got some peas on another side. We got cucumbers in here somewhere, probably a couple different places. We got a ton of tomatoes. I'm gonna have to check with the wife and see what all we have. There's more stuff than that in there. There may be some pumpkins in here. We got a lot of stuff in here. Next weekend, if it doesn't rain, we're gonna work on this patio in the center and we're gonna see if we can get that squared away. But you can see, we trimmed up along the side. We cut off the extra material we had sticking under there. We trimmed it all up. See, there's a little bit of material there. And a little bit on the end. The middle I left on purpose because I'm gonna put the blocks on top of it. So you can see some material in the middle. But on the edge is my garden hose. Taking care of a little pile of, little burn pile of leaves down there. And you can see our backyard. We got a little, little pond in there. So we got our square foot garden. And next week, hopefully we'll have some more video of the patio. And if we get really lucky, maybe we'll have some sprouts here sticking up.